All right, first things first. You got Cheat Engine up. You got your game up. First thing we got to do, attach. This tells Cheat Engine what it's looking at. So we're going to say you are focused on Drug Dealer Simulator for this demo. Now we'll go ahead and load our save. And before we begin scanning, let's make sure this is set to writable. So this is basically, from my understanding, this looks at writable and not writable areas. If we do this, that's only writable. And if we do that, that is only not writable. So we go both. And that seems to give us the best chances of getting a hit. So now what we have to do is find the value we're interested in. We want to know our money value. Let's find our money value. To know our money value, we have to see our money. There are a few ways to do that in this game. This is the my preferred way. There we go. You can see our account balance is 100,539, and it's got a decimal. So that usually means it's a float value. So let's assume it is. Go over here, set this to float. Let's go 100,539. Boom. All right, we only got a few hits. This is good. The less hits we have, the better likeliness we'll find our value. All right, so let's do it again. Okay, it seems to be holding steady. So we'll just mess with one of these until we find the value. Chances are it's one of these two, but we can try them all. But let's try this for the fun of it. $500, let's make it update in the game. All right, we found it because it changed. As you can see right here. So now we want to scan for the pointer because the whole point, the reason we're doing this tutorial is to find the pointers. Here we go. Right click the address of the value. Let's go to pointer scan for this address. You can just click OK. It'll ask you where you want to save to. It really doesn't matter. So just somewhere, let's give it a new directory name. Let's call it DDS. And we'll name the first one, one, just so we can stay organized. Now it's gonna do its thing. This will take a few seconds. You're watching Post Postress. Subscribe. All right, as you can see, we've got several hits, way too many to, to do anything with at this point. So what we'll do now is we will close the game and repeat the process. You can leave Cheat Engine up, you can leave the scan window up. Go ahead and reattach whenever you're ready. Load back into your game, start a new game. The more variety you can throw at it, the better chances you'll get some reliable pointers. All right, let's head back to our laptop. And since I'm loading into the same save, I know it's gonna be the same value, but let's pretend we don't know. All right, so we'll scan. Okay, we can add all these back. Well, chances are it's that one. All right. All right, 500, that's the one, we found it. So now we'll come back over here to the pointer scanner. In the first run through, we went, we right clicked the address and then went to pointer scan for this address. In this case, for all following scans, we'll do it this way. Go to the pointer scanner and we'll rescan memory. So this will help us get rid of all the ones that aren't what we want. So we can do it one of two ways. We can punch in the address that we found, or we can do it by the value. Just make sure you have the right type. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and use the address. And here we go. Name this one two. There we go. We narrowed it down quite a bit. As you can see, there are still some gaps in here, so you can you can even do it again from here if you want to. We'll number it three. All right, so that got us down a little ways. Now, another thing we can do is load back into our save. All right, let's check out our laptop, see if we can find our money value. Let me in. All right, now I loaded into a different save this time. So like I said, the more variety you can throw at it, the better chances you'll find reliable pointers. So now let's reattach Cheat Engine. And we're looking for 9999. All right, let's try this one. There we go. 
Okay, so we got our value again. Now we can continue the scan. Rescan memory. Now, if you wanted to, since you know the value, your money value, you didn't really need to look for the address again. If you're certain of the value, you could have just come over here, go to pointer scanner, go to value to find, and say 9999. Change it to float, and then scan that way. But we changed it to 50, so let's, let's check it out this way. Give it number four. All right. So as you can see, we got substantially less results now, so that actually gives us something to work with. And we still got a few gaps in here, so let's scan it again. Actually, let's come over here, change the value, 20. Now we'll pop back over here, rescan, we'll search for 20. So we want all pointers that have a value of 20. Number five. All right. So not a huge difference there. So now, come back over here, go ahead and close it, and we're just gonna repeat the process. Reattach cheat engine, and we're all set. All right, let's come over here, see if we can find our value. There we go, we're back to that from a different save. So let's go over here, and we'll scan from that value, since we know what it is. 100539, I think, let me double check, yes it is, and we'll scan for that. The, uh, number six. All right. So now if you have a decent amount of results, you can start to double click them and just add them in. And then every time you rescan or restart the game, whatever the case may be, you can see which ones of these are reliable and wipe them as they're not found, if that makes any sense. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So basically, I'm just trying to get a random sort of cross section of these different addresses. And typically, you're going to want to make sure that they're prefixed with the game EXE. Let me show you. Like this one. Chances are that one is not going to be very reliable, but we can add it in just in case. The more the better. All right, so now we'll pop out of here, throw some variety at it, load into a different save. We'll check our money again. We'll rescan for that value since we know that's the value we want in this case. Seven. All right, so we, we cut the value, we cut the uh, amount of results in half, so that's a good thing. So now we'll go ahead and add a few of these in there. Now there are some cases, eh, probably a lot of cases, where you're going to get some pointers that are consistently good and some that are sometimes good. And sometimes the sometimes is good enough. But if you're someone that releases cheat tables, pointers can be problematic, but especially if there's an update because everything seems to affect whether pointers work or not the update, the save you load into, etc. Okay, now that we've added a few more pointers to our list, we'll come over here, we'll get rid of some of these values that aren't of any use to us anymore. All right, so we got a clean list of working pointers for now. That could change when we restart, we'll find out. So we'll kill the app again. Now the goal is for these pointers to work between every reset, between all the different variety we can throw at it. So we know we'll have a pointer that will work and not have to search for this value again. All right, let's reattach cheat engine. All right, we got several that are holding up. Kill some of these. All right, so that's a good thing. So now we'll come back over here. We'll scan for our value again. You could do it again, one of two ways. You can search for the value or if you know your address, you can come over here and search for the address. It just prevents us from having to find the value again or the address because our pointers are pointing to the right place so far. Which is the goal. All right, so now we have very few results. So we're, we're really narrowing this down to just the winners here. Like all of you, you know what? You guys are winners and you don't take no shit from anyone. And that's what I like about you. You guys are pro drug dealers. I'm very proud of you. All right. So got a good amount of uh, pointers here. We could probably call it a day, but let's let's uh, yeah, see what else we can do. Again, the more variety, the better. This time we'll go back to the main menu. That's a curveball. Now we'll load a game. We'll load a random game. Let's load that one and see if any of our pointers are good. Of course, let me see. Are we still attached? I don't remember. Yeah, we're fine. Come on, addresses. Don't let me down. All right, there it is. So we've got some good addresses here. We can get rid of 
some of these guys. Actually, most of these are looking pretty good. So we'll come back over here just for fun. And that's kind of an odd value. So I'll go with the address approach here. Bada bing, nine. All right, so that knocked a few off. We'll throw a few more of these dudes in there. And I'm just, unfortunately in this window, it doesn't let you hold shift and select multiple. So you gotta just click one at a time. But clicking's a lot of fun, guys. And I got one of them quiet mouses, mices. Here we go. All right, we clicked, we had fun, and we got several pointers. So that's probably good enough. So you can probably come over here like this, select them all, and say, this is our money. And then you can maybe come up here, right click any of them, create header, and say, this is our money pointers. Then you can select all your addresses, and drag them into that header. Then you can right click your header and say hide. Now, boom, you can keep all your money pointers right here. And then you save the table however you want, blah, blah, blah. And those are my pointers for finding pointers. That's a little dad joke I wrote just for you guys. All right, if this video has been helpful, remember to like down below, leave a comment. I'm sure you're gonna have questions. I tried not to go through it too fast, but I understand how these things go. Sometimes you encounter things that I didn't cover or that just didn't come up in my walkthrough. So feel free to ask questions. I'll get to all the questions that, that you have. And uh, if you need more personalized help, feel free to stop by my Discord and ask for help. I'm always happy to help. I'll teach you everything I know, which is not a lot, but a few things make me dangerous. So. Um, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you learned something.